Good morning guys, happy May 10th. It's about 10.30 in the morning, um, about 10.40. Bubba and I have been up since about, well, technically about seven because Dennis had to leave for work and head to work today, so he is there, but I figured I'd take you guys along with me today for my day. Bubba has grooming it too, and I'm thinking about dyeing my hair. So I actually went downstairs and went through all my old hair dye, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I actually am a licensed cosmetologist. I went to beauty school, graduated, took the test, passed, all that kind of stuff. I worked at Ulta in the store for about two years before I went to beauty school. Then when I graduated, I got a job in the salon, worked there for about a month, and I hated it. I had such bad anxiety. I did not enjoy doing people's hair. Sorry, my hair is driving me insane. But, um, yeah, I just did not enjoy it, so I left there but I still renew my cosmetology license because you never know what down the road is going to bring but anyways so I have all this stuff so I went downstairs to make sure I had 20 developer I have my um what are these called hair whatever you know what these are called like hair hats I have gloves and I have a bowl I do need a brush I don't know where a brush is and I need to buy the color which I'm going to go to um What's it called? I am going to go to Salon Centric, no, Cosmoprof, and buy the color that I like to use, which is Joyco. And yeah, this guy has grooming it too. My little boy, he needs it. Um, He just needs a freshen up, and he's so sleepy today. But yeah, so we, him and I have just been chilling. Yesterday was the royal wedding. Did you guys watch it? I obviously didn't watch it when it was live, but I watched the reruns on TV, and oh my god, it was, Megan looked stunning. I think she's such a cool person. Um, I really like hearing her story, and just, she's awesome, and I think her and Harry are absolutely adorable together. They make a really, really sweet couple, so that was really fun to watch. I'm glad we got to watch it, but yeah, I'm going to take you guys along with me today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy, and yeah, I'll definitely talk to you guys in a little bit. So Dennis and I started watching the second season of 13 Reasons Why. And last night we only got in the first two episodes, but I think it's good. Um, I don't think it's as good as the first season, to be completely honest. I really, really liked the first season and how it was done. And it made me, like, it left me wanting more constantly. But um, I think it's going to get better as this season goes on. Like I said, the first episode was meh. The second episode got me a little bit more intrigued. And it's all about the court. Um, or like the trial of Hannah Baker's death. So, I mean, they have to kind of start slow, I guess. But I'm excited to see how that all plays out. Did you guys watch the first season of 13 Reasons Why? If so, what did you guys think about it? Um, it was really, like, when I talked to people about it, it was 50-50. Some people loved it. Some people hated it. And I was one of the ones that I really enjoyed it. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's super sad. But I like it that it touched on a lot of um, points that are important to be touched on. So I'm excited to see how this season plays out. And it's Sunday the 20th. Earlier I said the 10th. I don't know why. But um, it's Sunday the 20th. And Dennis is at work all day. And I kind of wish he kept watching some last night. But he didn't because then I could watch some today. But I'm not going to watch it because him and I are watching it together. So I'm not going to watch ahead. But um, I secretly wish he watched like a few episodes so I could watch it. But but he didn't. So I'm not going to either. So then him and I can have like the nights to watch it together. Yeah, I was just curious if you guys watched the season or if you guys are watching season two and what your thoughts were. So Bubba Bear's at his grooming. I dropped him off. Um, it was actually awesome. His grooming was set for two, but they called and were like, hey, we had a few cancellations if you want to come in. And I said, perfect. So we dropped him off at one. I got my hair dye. Um, Bubba needed some more treats. So I got him all that kind of stuff. So I don't really know what else I'm going to do. So it's about 1.47. He usually takes like an hour. So I think I'm just going to head back up to his grooming place and just wait for him to get done. And then um, I'm pretty excited to go home and start with my hair. Uh, I'm cramping, like period cramping, which kind of sucks. My period ever since Dennis and I and I, Dennis and I and I, Dennis and I started trying for a baby has been all over the place. And like last week or last month, I was four days early. Today I'm three days till my period. So who knows what's going on with me but 
anyways so I'm very like drawn out and just tired because of my stupid period but anyways I'm gonna head back up to the groomer and just wait on the bubba's so we just got home and look how good the boy looks he's modeling work it work it you can have a treat for being such a good boy okay he really likes these guys so you want a treat for being such a good boy the groomer said you were so sweet and gave a lot of kisses there you go. Anyways, I got my color that I'm gonna be using. So I got Joyco, and I used to get the 1N and 3N and mix it to make like a 2N, but my hair pulls dark naturally, so I just got some 3N. I got a little measurer for the developer. I have no clue where my little whisk is to mix everything together, so I got a new one of those and a new brush. I bought some onesies at Target because I, my HR lady at work is pregnant with a little boy, so I'm going to make her some cute little gifts with those. And I got some mints because these are Dennis's favorites, but I'm going to change and start doing my hair. So, look who has dark hair. That's me. So, I'm excited. It feels good um, to have dark hair again. I'm just letting it air dry because I feel like whenever you color your hair or anything like that, it's always best just to let it air dry. So that is what I'm currently doing. I literally had like two inches of new growth in my hair. Um, Sorry, my contact's hurting. But anyways, I literally had like two inches of new growth. So I did like a root touch up first and left that on for like 10 minutes, then went around and pulled it through the end. So I hope that worked. It seemed to have covered the roots pretty well, which I'm excited about. Then I'm in the shower and I hear this little guy freaking out. And I'm like, okay, well, what's going on? But sometimes he just freaks out, like, if the neighbor's outside or whatever. Then my dad calls. I'm, I'm, I'm obviously in the shower, so I don't answer. So I get out of the shower, like, brush my hair out and stuff, and I listen to my dad's voicemail, and my dad was here. So that makes me feel bad, but I'm like, if I, if you would have called me, I could have known and planned, planned it a little better. So then I feel bad that he got all the way here and then just left because he didn't think I was home. But anyways... I'm excited for this to air dry and I will show you guys the finished project when it's all done. So I officially have dark, dark hair again. Um, I don't want to say it's black because I used a 3N. So technically it's like a dark, 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 dark brown. But you know, we can say it's black. But I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. It feels so healthy. That's the nice thing about just like depositing color in you're not really damaging your hair so yeah I'm obsessed with it this contact has been driving me absolutely insane which is kind of annoying I'm almost tempted to take it out but I was kind of waiting for Dennis to get home first because he always says once my um excuse me once my contacts are in I'm ready for bed or once my glasses are on I'm ready for bed so I don't want him to like come home and be like oh my god she's already ready for bed but yeah, I'm so happy with how my hair turned out. I always feel a lot more um, like myself with dark hair, if that makes sense. I don't know if you guys really like understand, but um, whenever my hair is dark, I feel like, okay, Amy, you got this. Where when my hair was lighter, I didn't feel so much like myself. I don't know if any of that makes sense, but... So I'm going to sit here and chill. Dennis should be getting off work any minute. He should be calling me, saying he's on his way home. So then him and I can start our evening together. I think we may watch some um, 13 Reasons Why. And this boy just brought me his ball. Go get it. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to hang out with Bubba, wait for Dennis to get home, and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Someone's feeling feisty. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. I'm watching old Chow Bella vlogs. But hey. Look at them teeth. You were just fighting, Mama. Now you don't want to? Doesn't he look so cute after his grooming? Doesn't he look so handsome? Go get your ball. Mama just threw it. Go get it. It's down there. Bubba, go get it. Let's see if he brings it back. Good boy. 
get it. Go get it. <laughs> That's all he wants in life. So I'm going to play with his tennis ball. Good thing is that I can do it all day long with you. <laughs> Alright guys, I think I'm going to call it a night. Dennis just called and he's on his way home. And I am cooking some barbecue chicken there. So hopefully that turns out good. But yeah, Dennis is on his way home now. So him and I are just going to relax. Don't mind my face. I did a face mask and um, my face is breaking out a little bit. So the few areas that are breaking out are kind of like if inflamed due to the face mask, but that's okay. But anyways, thanks for hanging out Sunday with Bubba and I. The little boy wants to go outside. Maybe I'll let him out back because out front we put him like on a leash um, that's screwed into the ground. And then sometimes that's an issue because if we're not out there with him, if a dog walks by or people, he barks like crazy. So maybe I'll let him out back. So anyways, though, thanks for hanging out with me today, and I will talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so it's been a few days since the last day I vlogged, but I figured I'd catch up a little bit. Um, this vlog isn't going to be too exciting, but today I worked, and then I came home, and I took Bubba for a walk. Now him and I are chilling. Um, we're currently working on a little project. My HR president, who I've actually talked to a little bit about, like, trying to have babies and stuff she had issues while well, she is pregnant with a little boy and I actually can't make it to her baby shower so I decided that I would still make her some gifts so I went to the store and bought two little onesies no I did bought more than two little onesies sorry I was reading I bought a pack of onesies which oh my god melted my heart how stinking precious are these little onesies it's from zero to three months my heart I just can't even handle it so actually it was a good deal I'm sending you down for a second see if you'll stay actually it was a good deal for five of these so two long sleeves and three short sleeves it was like eight bucks I don't know I thought that was a good deal maybe it's because I'm not a mom and I don't have to buy them all the time but either way I bought them and um let me show you the designs I'm making. They're so cute. All right, here's the first one I made. I obviously have to hire iron it on there, but it just says, hello, I'm new here. And then the other one I have here on um, the thing. But this one's really, really cute. It's going to look like this if it turned out okay. And it says worth the wait because she had trouble getting pregnant also. But there's my machine up there. So... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and see how this one turns out. I'm pretty excited. This one might actually be too big. No, it actually looks like it's going to be perfect. So I'm going to go ahead and peel it and see how it looks. Oh, here's the other one. I just can't. How cute are these? So these are the two that I'm going to give her. Like I said, it's just for my HR manager, but she's been really, really sweet to me since I've worked at the place I work. So I just wanted to do something cute for her little guy. We don't know the name or else I would do something with the names, but how cute is that? Bubba is in here. What's going on? What do you got, your Halloween toy? Oh, you guys, how cute. I just can't even get over it. I really think they turned out good. Now all I have to do is iron these little bad boys on and I will be all done. And I'm gonna save this actually on my silhouette so I know how big to make them next time. But yeah, I don't know if I ever showed you guys. This is the spare bedroom that I get ready in and stuff. I love it a lot. All my makeup's here. This is where I sit down in front of this window. It's really, really nice. So I'm going to continue to play with Bubba, iron these guys on. I'm so excited with how they turned out. What, is there something in here? What? What is that? Oh, your duck head. Gotcha. <laughs>